So if you're one of these people that actually enjoy cold weather because you do winter activities and sports and stuff like that, then chances are when you're out in it, you're already prepared. But what if you're one of these people that's trying to avoid winter and you're out trying to actually get somewhere warm and a storm happens? Well, this is what happened to me. In my case, I already was somewhere warm after spending the winter in the American Southwest in Mexico. Like all snowbirds, I waited for a window in the weather to migrate back north. Just as the sun went down, a cool wind started to blow. A little rain was in the forecast, but nothing that really concerned me. So in the morning, I set out under partly cloudy skies. It was actually good driving weather. But as soon as I left Wyoming, a little rain started to fall. It was just a sprinkle at first, but eventually it started to pour. Roughly halfway through my journey, the rain let up, but the clouds were looking rather ominous. Heading west an hour later, I hit snow. This is kind of as bad as it gets. Kind of my worst nightmare for coming back to Canada is there'd have to be a bloody blizzard and snowstorm and Super cold. Uh, why didn't I stay down there? Uh, I don't know. The farther I drove, the worse it got, with frequent patches of black ice. So it was time to make a decision. Do I keep going in hopes the weather was better ahead, or find shelter and a safe place to ride out the storm? As night was approaching, the answer was a no-brainer. I'm stuck in a snowstorm in Shelby, Montana. Fortunately, I made it to a truck stop. But it looks like I'm spending the night here, whether I want to or not. I'm gonna try to get the trailer up. So the question's gonna be, can I actually get the roof up? My concern was that the freezing rain and ice had glued it shut. Yes! Not exactly the perfect scenario, but I got it up. That's gonna have to do until the snow stops. Well, not exactly the ending I'd hoped for. Stranded in a snowstorm. It's just weird. I mean, this morning it was warm. It was like, at night it was like 55 degrees. During the day it was like 65, 75 in Wyoming. And a few hours later I'm in this. Ah, boy, glad I like winter. Just not right now. But out the window another drama was taking place. A transport truck was spinning on the ice and couldn't get his chains on. So I got my traction aids out to see if I could lend a hand. After a couple of adjustments, I got him out and he was on his way again. Now I just had to find my traction aids in the snow. 
I actually got to use these. I helped a big rig get out. That's so cool. Now I know at least they work. So if I have to use them sometime, I can on my little trailer and truck. Oh, it's cold. Damn. Well, I wasn't really planning on using the foam this trip, but I'm glad I brought it. Not only will that keep a little bit more of the heat in, but it'll keep some of the moisture out as well, the, mel the melting snow and the ice that's uh, on the roof. Every little bit helps. Well, it looks like I'm not the only one stranded. There's a few trucks hauling, could be horses, I'm not quite sure, but they're stuck too, so the parking lot's full right now. Uh, it's just about dark. It is cold in here. It's uh, just above freezing inside. It's below freezing outside, and it'll be below freezing inside as well if I uh, don't hook up the furnace, and I probably won't because I'm gonna use the electric blanket. That's what I bought it for. It saves heating up the whole trailer when all I have to do is heat up me. So here we go. I'm stranded, snowstorm, but I think I'm gonna be nice and warm tonight. Uh, what I've got is my electric blanket. I've got my heavy duty warm sleeping bag and I'm actually going to wear my sweater tonight because it will be way below freezing. Um, I do have a full tank of propane or almost a, a, a full tank, but I don't plan on using it because then I'm going to have issues with condensation and I really don't want to be bothered with that. So right now I'm just, uh, I've got the electric blanket plugged in. It's keeping me warm. Sleeping bag's keeping me warm. And what I will do though, first thing in the morning when it's at its coldest, is I'll turn on the furnace just to warm my pants up. That way um, I have warm clothes to get into in the morning and off I go. That's it. But it's really, really important to always have a backup plan for emergencies. Like if, if I don't have a battery, I have propane. If I don't have propane or battery, I got warm sleeping bag, I've got uh, you know, like a winter coat, <clears throat> you know, hat, stuff like that. So I'm always prepared for the cold, prepared for uh, rain, uh, prepared for wind. Um, I don't know, not earthquakes. Earthquakes, I'm, I'm hooched. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to survive a, an earthquake, but everything else, I think I've got reasonable preparation for at least, I hope. By morning, it was very cold, and a few more inches of snow had fallen overnight. Despite this, I did keep warm using the electric blanket, so I didn't need to turn on the furnace. However, in the morning, I did turn it on in the hopes it would help melt the ice on the roof. Well, I'm trying to warm up the car and the trailer at the same time, and Hopefully I can get out, but there's a big truck in my way, so the story ain't over yet. If I don't get it off the top of the roof, that's what's going to be going inside. And make sure you wipe down the sides just so any moistures on them won't leak into the trailer once you close it down. The question is, are the roads good enough? to drive. I see some trucks on them. And can I get out of this parking lot? There's about maybe eight inches of snow. Okay, here it goes.
trailers out. Oh boy. Uh, it's icy. Uh, if I get stuck, man. It's very icy. This is just the on-ramp. Oh my god. I don't like it. Seriously, who was I kidding that I could beat old man Winter this year? No way. He got me back this time. The border was only 40 miles away, but the roads weren't safe. So you've got to know when, uh, when safety has to trump your goals. This morning it's started off okay. I'm only about 20 miles to the border now, but it's starting to snow again. So, but I've got a little bit of a convoy of cars and trucks ahead of me. So I'm hoping I can at least make it to the border. Life on the road, it's not always what you want it to be. It just is what it is. Ironically, on the Canadian side, the roads were free of ice and snow, and I just had to deal with a little fog. The trailer, however, was a mess and it took several passes at the car wash to remove the crusted ice and snow. But I made it back safely and that's what counts. Always go where the road takes you, unless the road's not safe. So then always go where there's somewhere safe. <laughs> 